Hello and good afternoon, <coughs> classes. Today we'll talk on the functional classification of towns. In our previous class, we have talked about the types of urban settlement. Uh, those connotation like <coughs> cities, million cities, conurbation, megapolis, million cities, mega cities, etc., and also. Uh, we, we have also talked about uh, the, the town, the urban population, which is based on size, uh, where India have divided uh, the classes of urban settlement into six categories. And today we'll talk on the functional classification of towns. Functional classification of towns is a type of, or classification of urban settlement where towns and cities are classified on the basis of the function they perform. So uh, in functional classification of towns, there are different types of towns who perform different things, okay? We may divide the functional classification of towns into nine division. I'm sure you have gone through this in your class 12 or so. Functional classification of towns. Okay, functional classification of towns is a <coughs> types of urban settlement where <coughs> different urban centers are classified or uh, where different types of urban settlement are divided into types uh, where uh, their performances, their activities are uh, the first priority. Okay, number one is administrative town. Okay. Uh, administrative town is a town where the main function of the town is to administer a country, administer a region, administer a state, etc. Okay, so in administrative town, the main function of the town is to administer a, a country, a state, a region, a district, or any particular given area okay so in this uh, administrative town the main function performed uh, by the administrative town is public administration okay so <clears throat> the administrative uh, town perform functions like public administration okay and uh, this is uh, a town uh, which are the capital of a state, capital of a country, capital of a district, okay? They may be the capital of a given uh, geographical area. They may be the center of province, okay? They may be uh, the center, the town may serve as a center of uh, district, Okay, and also administrative town may be um, an area where uh, uh, there is <clears throat> there is other administrative division of a country. So in administrative town, uh, the main function is to administer, okay, public administration. Uh, those towns may be re, uh, may be referred to as capital, okay, public capital of a given area. And apart from uh, apart from those capital center of provinces, states, district, etc., uh, there may be administrative town who are newly created. The, uh, these capital towns may be newly created due to historical and political reason. Okay, and in the administrative town where the main function is public administration, 
in the administrative town where the main function is public administration it consisted of uh, government offices public buildings royal palaces okay so in no other town in no other type of town you will see the uh, government offices public buildings royal palaces okay and in this uh, administrative town there may be residents of um, a country uh, um, there may be a residents of country leaders like uh, residents of president prime minister bureaucrats and other uh, <clears throat> officers okay so i've seen that some of you cannot give your attendance i will just make this right again Please wait just for a little while. <clears throat> okay, uh, so uh, administrative town is, uh, the main function is public administration and uh, they are the capital of a, uh, a country or capital of a division. And they contain government offices and they contain government offices public buildings, royal palaces, and the headquarter of the state-run organization, bank, post office, okay, head of political parties, uh, headquarters of political parties and sporting facilities may also be found in the uh, administrative towns, okay. They are the, their uh, in these administrative towns, we find the residents of uh, the president, prime ministers, other ministers, bureaucrats, and other officers. Okay, coming to the second uh, type of uh, urban settlement based on their function, uh, the second type are the defensive towns. Okay, your attendance, you, you, may, you may fill up your attendance. I have made it right now. So uh, the next types of uh, urban settlement according to the function they perform are the defensive towns, okay? So what are the uh, defensive towns? <clears throat> right, uh, the defensive towns are the towns where we find uh, the main function is to defend or secure a country or even region. Okay, defensive towns came into being for defensive purposes. And uh, because of this, uh, we may find barrack cantonment training facilities for armed forces. We also may find airfield harbor for warship. 
Okay, so uh, if we look into the human history, during the medieval period, most of the towns and cities used to be developed on the site of defensive sites. So as uh, for a security purposes, okay, all right. So because of this, um, defensive towns have came into being. Okay, so in defensive uh, towns, there may be um, uh, a clear division of land use between military and the civil people. Okay, uh, so the main purpose of defensive towns is to provide security. Okay, the main function of uh, defensive towns or security town is to provide security for the people of a country or a state or a given region. Okay, coming to number three is the cultural towns. Cultural towns or cultural centers. The main function of these cultural towns uh, is for proving and keeping rich culture. Rich culture in the form of, um, it may be in the form of education and it also may be in the form of uh, traditional handicrafts, traditional music okay uh, etc so cultural centers or cultural towns are those towns where um, these areas are protected uh, for keeping rich culture in the form of education traditional handicrafts okay for example in india a rich cultural heritage town is varanasi Prayag, Raj, Gaya, etc. In Saudi Arabia, Makkah and Medina. Okay. And in Israel, uh, Jerusalem. Okay. There are numerous towns and cities in the world, almost in each of the countries, which perform cultural functions. Okay. And uh, in these, um, where uh, the town, uh, where the town, and uh, develop as an area of education centers, there may be universities, okay, like the cities of Oxford and Cambridge in uh, England, and the cities of Harvard in USA are some of the examples which can be cited as a cultural town which developed due to education. Okay, so in educational towns under the cultural centers, there may be colleges, there may be universities, libraries, there may be hostels, church, playgrounds, parks, shopping centers. Okay, and in those areas where the town developed as an area of religious uh, centers may have churches, they may have temples, they may have mm, re many religious buildings. Okay, and also some may be mm, a town uh, which develop uh, because the, the towns are the seats of uh, religious leaders, like the v Vatican City, Mm, where Pope reside, and also mm, in the uh, Lhasa, where one seated Dalai Lama. Okay, this may be a religious uh, towns. Okay, so in religious towns, there may uh, be a pilgrimage. Okay, there may be a pilgrimage. There may be churches, and they may be there may be a shop for religious books flowers, joysticks for religious purposes, okay? And uh, they also may provide accommodation for pilgrims and often have a uh, subsidiary function as a tourist centers, okay? Moreover, uh, there are many towns under cultural towns where towns perform entertainment functions, okay? Uh, like Hollywood in California, and uh, 
Stratford on Avon, the birthplace of William Shakespeare and the kings of France are maybe some of the examples which may be which can be cited as a, a, a cultural town which perform entertainment function. Okay, so the next uh, town is Collection Town. I hope you can fill up your attendance now. Yes, so far there are 59 uh, responses. Okay, so uh, collection towns or collection centers are those towns who may uh, provide mining, fishing, and lumbering. Okay, those who may provide mining, fishing, and lumbering are the under collection towns. Okay. Uh, so in these, uh, these are uh, one of the primary activities of human population. So the towns which uh, serve these, uh, the area which serve these towns like mining, fishing, lumbering, there may be mines. There may, these may be um, developed along the sea coast where fishing may be done. This may also be an area which is rich in forest resources where lumbering uh, may be done. Okay, so these towns, uh, the collection towns where the main function is mining, fishing and lumbering, in these towns there may be smelters, refineries, shop uh, various types of shop for uh, mining equipment in mining towns and special types of clothes for mining. Okay, and uh, there may be an area for landing, there may be an area or site for storing of the resources, cleaning, drying, packing, canneries fertilizer plants, okay. This may also have a uh, board building, net making, repairing areas, okay. Uh, uh, this is, uh, there may be these things according to the, the function of mining, the function of uh, fishing, and the function of lumbering, okay. Some uh, in those towns where the main function is lumbering, uh, some may have plans for making pulps and papers, okay? So, for example, in India, the timber town of mm, Kagodem, uh, which is in Uttaranchal, Kotwar in Uttar Pradesh, um, Newfoundland and Grand Falls in Canada are examples of lumbering towns. Okay, um, in fishing towns, there may be fishing ports and other related, related activities like uh, boat building, net making or repairing and fishing equipments may also be found. Okay, so and the fifth uh, types of town is production center. Okay, production center or town. Production and uh, centers or town is those towns where manufacturing industry is the main function. Okay, the main function of production uh, centers or towns is uh, manufacturing. Okay, manufacturing. Okay, uh, and their size, the size of the production center may vary. Okay, and their appearance are also affected by the towns and uh, by the types of industries. Okay, in these production centers, mm, transportation, transportation is very important for the transport of raw materials and the finished goods. 
Okay. For example, in India, Jamshedpur, Rorkela, Bilai, mm. in India are some of the example of production centers. Okay. And in, in Japan also, uh, there may be towns between uh, Tokyo and Osaka. Okay, uh, so uh, transportation is very important in uh, production centers. And number six is uh, transfer and distribution centers. Okay, so uh, in transfer and distribution distribution centers, the main function of the town is uh, trade and commerce. Mm. Trade and commerce services. Okay, so in uh, these are the areas of uh, a very. <clears throat> high commercial activities so we we may find market towns they may be market towns they may be seaports they may um, you know, where there are lots of shops stores for warehouses go down cold storage and wholesale market okay so transfer and distribution center main function is trade and commerce services okay trade and commerce services they include several types of towns okay they may be market town seaport they may also be financial towns okay market towns may be characterized by markets wide range of shops stores warehouses go down cold storage and wholesale market okay the most important trading and distribution centers are generally the ports okay uh, where in the ports um, <clears throat> there may be export and import uh, lots of uh, export and import uh, services taking place uh, around the ports. Moreover, most of the largest uh, cities of the world are seaports. Okay, uh, so uh, some uh, examples of uh, seaport uh, towns where transport and distribution centers takes place, where trade and commerce are the main activities are Tokyo, Sao Paulo, uh, New York, Shanghai, Mumbai, Okay, Los Angeles, etc. Uh, there may be many important inland ports on lakes and rivers, okay, including Kolkata on the Hubli River, Hanko in Yangtze Kiang, St. Louis in Philip, Mississippi, etc. Okay, so there is a high degree of diversity in the function performed by these um, transfer and distribution centers. Uh, these um, <clears throat> there may be uh, under the transport and distribution center uh, some types uh, some towns may uh, function uh, some towns may have a financial as the main function okay uh, they, such uh, towns like frankfurt in germany Zurich in Switzerland, Amsterdam in Netherlands are some of the example. Uh, Wall Street in New York are the example of towns where their main function is financial services. Okay, these towns and cities where financial services is the main function have stock markets, auction room, and numerous offices, financial houses banks and commercial agencies okay and um, number seven are the resorts resorts okay resorts are also uh, depicted as town okay these are the towns uh, 
which cater to the recreation needs of the people. These are the towns where uh, the towns cater to the recreation needs of the people. Okay, uh, these towns may be <clears throat> based on health giving water like the hot, uh, where uh, there is occurrence of hot spring. Seaside, uh, these towns may provide seaside recreation, mountain climbing, cultural attraction. Uh, they also may be historical, there may be historical monuments, uh, sport facilities, there may be a uh, <clears throat> national park and also uh, those resort towns or resort centers may provide attractive scenery. Okay, so these are the towns which attract tourists. So they have a good range of shopping facilities. Okay, they have a good range of shopping facilities. Resorts, uh, towns and cities have many hotels to accom accommodate visitors and also provide uh, different types of facilities like golf courses, swimming pools, <clears throat> and site for trekking, a site for skiing. Okay, and uh, moreover, they have uh, many uh, numerous entertainment facilities such as theaters, cinemas, nightclubs, and children park. Okay, so uh, some uh, example may be Kulu. Some example may be cited from India, like um, those towns like Kulu, Manali, Shimla, Dalhousie, Mussoorie, Naimital, etc. Okay, and also uh, Padova in Italy, mm. Swansea Wells. Okay, are some are some of the examples of such towns like resort. Okay, and number eight are the residential towns. Residential towns are. Uh, <clears throat> towns uh, where um, majority uh, where the chief function is simply to house a concentration of population is simply and uh, the residential towns are the towns where uh, people reside okay people have built their houses Okay, in such areas, most of the land is devoted to home, where houses are mostly homes, private homes. There may be park and there may also be hospital facilities in residential towns. Okay, and these towns are also well connected with the major cities, which enables commuters to get to work each day. Okay, and uh, these uh, residential towns mostly develop in suburbs of metropolitan areas, the areas around um, metropolitan centers. Okay, and coming to the last towns of diversified functions. Okay, towns of diversified function. Uh, these are the towns where large number of activities may be done. Okay, in uh, towns of uh, diversified function, uh, they may function as uh, administrative town, they may function as uh, educational town, they also may function as defense town, collection town, production centers, etc. So large number of activities are done uh, in um, towns of diversified function. Okay, so uh, these uh, towns of diversified function, they may develop over space and time. Okay, uh, many towns have changed, um, have changed their function. They, uh, many towns have changed their 
function and also many towns have changed their sites in the past also okay example may be cited uh, from india um, uh, the town uh, the cities like mumbai provided uh, highly diversified function okay uh, the, uh, mumbai is a town uh, like uh, it is like a seaport it also uh, function as administration production center collection cultural town it may also be a defense town okay so uh, san francisco uh, so many towns have changed their site also for example delhi have shifted at several sites that is like indraprastha surajkun marauli siri okay saja hanabad new delhi etc sometimes great disasters like floods or earthquakes leads to the shift of um, or rebuilding of towns like uh, california or usa where great earthquakes occurs uh, sometimes back okay so these uh, are the nine uh, towns which are classified on the basis of the function they perform with that we can conclude our our class thank you Thank you.